Hi, my name is Scott Fong, and I'm a principal engineer with Cisco Systems. I am also co-chair to SPDM at DMTF. I would like to discuss new features in SPDM 1.1. They are sessions, mutual authentication, and derivation of keys. Sessions provide encryption and message authentication for any data traversing a transport. There are two main methods, asymmetric and pre-shared keys. The asymmetric method is Jesse Hellman based and pre-shared keys are symmetric based. Here is the flow for the asymmetric method to establish the session. The session begins with key exchange and the corresponding response, key exchange response. This request and response exchanges the public portion of the requester and respond, responders DHE key pair. The session is fully established at the completion of finish and finish response. After this, any data that traverses the transport in the session is protected. The other thing to notice here is that during session establishment, mutual authentication can occur. This is when the responder authenticates the requester. The other method for establishing a session is shown here. This is the pre-shared key method for creating a session. The session begins with PSK exchange and the corresponding response, PSK exchange response. The session is fully established at the, com at the successful completion of PSK finish and PSK finish response. After this, just as in the asymmetric method, any data that traverses the transport in the session is protected after the successful completion of PSK finish and PSK finish response, of course. One thing to note here is that mutual authentication is inferred from the successful establishment of the session because this method is a symmetric based method. This is the SPDM key schedule. This key schedule defines how to, de to derive the session keys. There are two important points to note. One is that there are more than one encryption key used in a session. The other is the export master secret, which you see here is towards the bottom of the screen. The export master secret is the additional key that is derived. Its usage is outside the scope of SPDM, but it allows for vendor-specific or standard-specific use cases. SPDM allows for session keys to be updated without re-establishing a session. This is done through key updates. There are many reasons to perform a key update within a session one of which is to protect against replay on counter overflows. If you wish to dive into more details, here are some references. This concludes the presentation. Thank you for watching. Please share your feedback to DMTF Feedback Portal. Please also subscribe to DMTF and watch our other videos.